Hi everyone, Dinashi here. Welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today, I'll be talking about the Spartan race. So last Sunday, I just did the Spartan Beast, which was 21 km and 30 obstacles. It is happened. It happened in Ipoh, Lost World of Tampon. So the race layout was amazing. The, there are a lot of hills. The elevation was insane, and we went into we went deep into the woods. So going into this race, I didn't uh, train much due to my foot injury that I just injured like one month ago, uh, like four four weeks prior to the Spartan race. So I couldn't really train any cardio. So my cardiovascular system is quite uh not not so good I can say. But I've been training my upper body since then because it it won't involve any foot that uh, throughout this exercise. So I was so afraid that I'm I so so afraid and nervous that I might not be able to complete it because the elevation when the map came out I was so afraid like the first few KMs it spiked up like insane to like around 200 few KMs and then it just goes up and down from there. And and the weather that on that day is amazing because it didn't rain at all. So the rig, the road was all dry. If if it's wet, so you can imagine a lot of people sleeping and cramped because of the mud. I took around seven hours, almost seven hours to complete the race. And the elevation gain total was nine hundred meters. For the first half of the race, it's quite chill because there weren't many obstacles to start with. So mainly for the first, I could say fifteen km. It's most of uh, running, hiking, and uh, just uh, just lot trail running, and a few obstacles such as uh, a barbed wire car, some wall, eight foot wall, and Olympus. Oof. And after that, the, the real challenge starts after the 16 km where we had, we had another, the second uh, incline that is the highest throughout the whole race. So the, the road that we have to hike is very, very tough because it, there, there weren't flat roads. There this incline and there's more stones that we have to step on and we have to uh, keep on looking at the road as well as not uh, not sprain our ankles and after after we came down the the hill was also very steep so running down the hill kind of uh, takes a toll on our knees but luckily uh, it's it's just for that few minutes I mean we couldn't see, we couldn't even see the bottom of the hill at that point so once we reach the bottom the obstacle starts coming in like uh, there are many obstacles that comes together like carries and carries and carries like bucket carry to atlas carry to sandbag carry those of all of those are like kind of uphill a bit like you have that 15% incline to down but the good thing about it is that we can get to take photo like there's a photogra photographer at the bucket carry to help take us take photo of us moving on to Herculean hoist Herculean hoist is also another obstacle where you have to pull the sandbag up and for men I think it's around 50 pounds and for for women are 30 pounds I think and after that we had the spear throw or spear throw uh, thank god I land, land it on the first try actually I, I almost launched but I wasn't ready so I quickly pulled back then for the second try I landed it but it almost missed because it's at the bottom of the board. <laughs> and then moving on to the other obstacles, the last few obstacles, which was uh, multi rig.
Monkey bar. and rope climb. Ooh. Ooh. All three of those involves our upper body strength, our pulling strength. So uh, that's why the race, it's kind of ch challenging in that sense. Like we, in the first half, we have to challenge our mental as well as our legs and the second half is just pull pull strength more strength and yeah that's it for and at last i after six hours and 50 minutes i finally come came came to the last obstacle which was the fire jump and i knew if this was it i've completed my first service button race huge thanks to my teammates uh ociaso the whole race, they can me through the whole race. They are the best teammate that you can ever ask for. They can make the whole race seems like it's a fun run because so chill, like we we're just walking, casually strolling throughout the whole race course and uh talking, chit chatting with each other. So huge thanks to them and overall I'm pretty grateful that everything in this race went smoothly without any injury. So I'm looking forward to future obstacle races like Spartan Race. So now I want to talk about uh, the question of the day. So let me ask you guys a question. Do you guys do sports? If yes, then comment down below on what kind of sports do you do? And here we are at, at the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy watching my video and don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and I shall see you guys in the next video.